What's up guys? Today, I will be sharing to you how to configure and connect an electric motor to our variable frequency drive. So if you are new to variable frequency drive and motor controls, this video is for you. So stay tuned and click like and subscribe. What is a VFD or variable frequency drive? This is a type of electric motor controller that drives electric motor by varying the voltage and frequency supplied to electric motor so the speed can be controlled depend on the load demand. It is also known as speed drive, AC drive, or inverter drives. Here is our basic principle of our frequency drive. The input AC is converted into DC and then converted back to AC using a pulse width modulation technique. We have our controller for inputs, outputs, and feedbacks for setup and configurations. Here we have our frequency drive. Always have a safety breaker in case so you can have a switch, you have the overload protection and just for protection. So we have a switch for start and stop remotely and also we have a potentiometer for the speed control. I will show you later that it's really only a potentiometer inside. Of course, we have our motor. The specs is let's check what is inside here. So here we have six terminals. This is our uh, screws and jumpers. So here you will see that is U V W. And the other side is V, U, and W. Okay. Okay, let's try to take a look what is inside. So this is our I.O. board and some relay or output board. So there, here is our inputs and this is outputs which we can configure in the parameters. Let's try to turn it on. So we have a safety breaker here with the 10 amps. By the way, our variable frequency drive is uh, can handle a 5 amps uh, of current. Okay, let's try to plug a new display. This is from another frequency drive and let's check what will happen if we turn it on. Okay, voila! Display is working okay. So, 
our old display is no good. This is our main menu. Yeah. So we have at, we should in this model we should have at least seven. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Yes, yeah, seven. So for menu number one, we have the monitoring. So motor current, motor torque, motor power, voltage, DC link voltage, unit temperature, motor temperature. Voltage input, current input. This is the DIN. This is in the in the board. Digital inputs. This is digital outputs. This is uh, analog current out. Multi monitor. Output frequency, yeah, we go back to one. Okay, exit parameters. Okay, let's go to parameters and we set up our electro motor. So it says here, based on our motor nameplate, we will be using delta connection at 400 volts, 50 hertz, 2870 RPM, 2.2 kilowatts. 4.4 amps and 0.86 power factor let's go back to our display and change the parameters minimum frequency this is the minimum reference frequency of our potentiometer as soon as you flip or push the start switch and the potentiometer at minimum our motor will run at 5.1 Hertz maximum frequency our vessel is 50 Hertz then maximum should be 50 Hertz or below this is also the maximum reference equivalent of the potentiometer acceleration time this is the motor ramp up time at start deceleration time this is the ramp down time when the motor going to stop current limit the motor limit our motor is 4.4 amps then I can put 4.4 amps or a little above then I will use 4.5 amps okay let's change this value Four point five and enter. Next, motor nominal voltage four hundred volts is correct. Motor nominal frequency fifty hertz is correct. Motor nominal speed. Let's change to 2870 rpm motor nominal current our motor is 4.4, let's change it to 4.4 amps. Four point four and enter. Power factor is zero point eighty six. 
So let's change it to 0 0.86. And enter. Start function, ramping. Stop function, costing. This and other parameters can be set and remain as default values. On basic application, it is not a big deal. Other functions is not in use. Parameter 2.14. I.O. Reference This parameter let you choose where we gonna control our VFD and motor. Here you can choose Analog Input 1, Analog Input 2, Keypad Reference, and Field Bus. This is the motor speed control reference. We will use the Analog Input 1 where our potentiometer is connected. Here is our Analog Input 1 which is potentiometer. Our analog input 2 is current reference, example 4 to 20 milliamps, and also the digital inputs for start and stop, forward and reverse configurations, and so on. Current reference offset 4 to 20 milliamps if we use current reference for data processing. Current out content frequency reference. DIN tree or digital input tree not in use. Preset speed 1, this is for digital input configuration not in use in this example. Preset speed 2, not in use in this example, so we skip. Automatic restart is disabled. And now back to Parameter 2.1 Third menu, Keypad Control Menu 3.1, Control Place This option for which and where we control our VFD Here you can choose IO terminal, keypad control, and field bus. We will select IO terminal where our potentiometer and start switch is connected. Next, keypad reference. This is when using keypad control only. Keypad direction. Forward. Stop button active. Yes. Fourth menu. Active faults. Fifth menu. Fault history. Sixth menu. System menu. And seventh menu. Expander board. Other options and parameters can be leave as default values. So now, this potentiometer is connected to 1, 2, 3, and the switch is 6 and 8. So if you compare it here, so 1, 2, 3. 6 is 24 volts, 8 is input 1. We 
selected here 1, 2, 3, 6, and 8. And it says OPTA1. OPTA1. Let's start it on. Maximum 50 hertz. Start fast. Slow down. Take a look with our graph again. 